Democracy Volunteers is a UK-based, non-partisan election observation group. What we do is we deploy, in this case, four observers to Gibraltar to observe the process in polling stations. But we also talk to people like you. We also people talk to people like the uh, referendum administrator, the, the campaigns, and the people as well, to find out what they think about the process and also to compare the process to what actually happens on the ground. We do that independently. We don't receive any money from any of the participants. And what we do is we feed that back in about six to eight weeks' time with what we've discovered. And hopefully, you know, Gibraltar can improve its elections and referendums thereafter. And these reports are made public, are they not? Absolutely. We'll send you a copy, we'll send the people we've spoken to a copy, we'll also put it on our website. We make sure that you can try and improve the way things are done, because one of the things we always say is that no election is perfect, no referendum is perfect. Obviously, you know, people are very excited, very interested, very engaged in the process, but we would like to encourage people to look at the process, not just the debate that's going on. Because I think we've all discovered in the last 18 months, let's put 18 months on it, that elections aren't always trusted around the world. You know, it's not dif not difficult for people to have their trust in them undermined by, you know, shall we say, leaders of the free world and people like that. So actually, we would encourage people to look at how the process works. Feed back to us tomorrow. If you see something you don't think is good, we can also put that into our report and find out more about what you've, what you've seen yourselves. This is not your first time in Gibraltar. You were here for the 2019 election uh, and you published a report on that. Uh, can you give us a synopsis as to how processes are carried out in Gibraltar, what your findings were, uh, and how they compare in Gibraltar to other places that you may have observed in the UK and elsewhere? Let, let's look at the fact that this is a very different scenario. Obviously, 18 months ago, there was no COVID-19. And so one of the things we're going to be looking at is also how that impacts on the electoral process. But last time we were here, for example, we identified that blind and partially sighted voters should have easier access to the voting process. So there's something called a tactile voting device, which is election speak for a piece of card which you put next to the ballot paper and you can, in this case, see the yes and no's in Braille, but also it has a little arrow that points to it. So it helps blind and partially sighted voters access the process more easily. That's something we recommended last time, and I know that Paul Martinez has them this time, to actually show in polling stations for voters to use. So that's one thing. We also talked about trying to make sure that you know access is simpler. Now, if there's step-free access, that's really important in polling stations, especially for the elderly. But also, one of the things is to make sure polling stations are very obvious. You know, okay, you've got a map of them in Gibraltar, but people also need to know where they are, are able to access them. But also making sure there's free access so that the campaigns, you know, have an exclusion zone. I'm sure you know that around the polling station, they're not supposed to step within them. They're the sorts of things that we'll be looking for, but also things we've seen in the past. So really, it's a, Elections, and in this case a referendum, are subject to those involved in them. And we know this is a campaign that people are perhaps engaged with, but also one where actually we need to encourage people to sort of understand the process can improve as well. You mentioned earlier that if people want to get in touch with you and bring things to your attention, they can do so. So how do they go about that? Very simply, our general email account is info at democracyvolunteers.org. Send us an email and we'll try and include what you've got in our report to us in the next few weeks.